Marks one year since the toxic train derailment that upended the lives of residents in East Palestine. Since the incident, the EPA and Norfolk Southern have been committed to clean up the mess left behind. Many residents and local leaders, including former President Donald Trump, visited the site, offering support to the community. Today, community members gathered and came together in a number of ways to mark one year from a unique film festival to a health hub for residents. Their voices were heard. Lindsay Buckingham reports. At the Main Street Theater in Columbiana, signs of support are everywhere and where a number of commemorative events were held today, marking one year since the toxic train derailment in East Palestine. The tragedy featured in a handful of films as part of the first ever East Palestine Environmental Film Festival, which highlighted what residents faced in the immediate days after the derailment. And there's a lot going on here. Today was also about giving those community members a voice and peace of mind that they're okay. Thank you so much. That's a great value. Gollum Research Group of UC San Diego is here taking blood, urine, hair, and nail samples from those close to the tragedy, measuring which areas were hit the hardest. The goal in collecting these samples is to better understand the health of the residents here in East Palestine, um, as well as anything that can help us develop a treatment for them or gain information for how we can prevent this in the future. That's something Robert Mattis, who lives just outside of East Palestine proper, appreciates. We're, we're concerned for the future, really. It might not happen now, but it might happen in a couple of years. Now, the Main Street Theater isn't the only stop for that research study. The organizers also tell us there will be other stops around East Palestine in the coming weeks. If you want to be a part of it or if you believe you're eligible, head to WKYC.com. We have a link posted there. In Columbia, Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. Lindsay, thank you. Meanwhile, President Biden took to social media today to speak about East Palestine. In the post, the president wrote, quote, This month I'll travel to East Palestine, Ohio, to meet with residents impacted by the Norfolk Southern train derailment to discuss our commitment to supporting this community for as long as it takes and how we will continue to hold Norfolk Southern accountable, end quote. President Biden says he is continuing to push Congress to pass the Railway Safety Act. Right now it's unclear exactly when the president will visit. 3 News' Lara Queso has spent time speaking with residents and officials in East Palestine. She says many had different reactions as to what has happened over the past year. Some aren't fearful and believe their village is safer now with all of the testing. And some feel the exact opposite, scared for what's to come. Here's part of the conversation she had. There were hundreds of thousands of gallons of chemicals spilled into our land, into our waterways, and then subsequently burned into our air. The type of benzene that was found breaks down into your body into amethylstyrene, which is a genotoxic carcinogen. We still know that it's not right. We don't know if you it's know, safe for us living here. When but we can't go nowhere. Coming up tonight at 11, Laura Queso shares more from those in East Palestine as they reflect one year later. And of course, we'll have continuing coverage of the one year anniversary throughout the day on air and online at WKYC.com.